Don't you love people that advertise themselves like this? May peace prevail. Okay, yeah, right. How about that Broncos truck that says, fuck all the haters? You know, how about you go be someone's blessing? You know, and may peace prevail. They have their own shipping box? What am I supposed to say to them? situation we are witnessing now is the demonstration that climate change is out of control. You feel that? You've actually been trained for this, Mr. Fisher. Pay attention to the strangeness of the weather, the shift in gravity. None of this is real. July 8th, always something to vlog about. This week, the hottest week on record for the fourth day in a row, and likely to be the hottest month on record for July. We saw this coming, and the amount of money it would cost to transition off fossil fuels, take a guess, bet you didn't know, 200 trillion. Yep. Let that sink in. 200 trillion. Well, we could have gotten a quarter of the way there if we hadn't given that to the top 1% over the past 50 years. I swear, if I hear one more fucking boomer tell me that work is hard to find in toxic, shitty jobs, then... I'll do nothing. Because everyone's pretty awake now that most jobs are substandard, 1900 style, uh, work, 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 shit pay, toxic work environment, petty bullshit with your coworkers over little things, uh, snarky attitudes, all for what? You're putting up with all this bullshit. You know, I had a woman today, take an older woman, and like, told me that, a, a restaurant server. And, you know, that rugged individualism, you know, that, that work yourself up from your bootstraps. I just don't buy the shit anymore. There is no bootstraps. What bootstraps? You work an hour and make ten bucks, you buy one fucking sandwich. It takes fifty dollars to make five dollars okay <clears throat> and I told her no one wants people want to work a living wage you know job market increased last month up 230,000 I mean, whatever it's like yeah pay a living wage and maybe you'll get employees because if you couldn't tell the cost of living and everything is completely astronomical uh, like I said paying for life on my own as a man it wasn't worth it. Like, by myself, I know people do it, okay? But seriously, you just work and pay bills like a hamster. You just do this. God forbid you have a toxic work environment. Then it's just hell. Yeah, it hurts to be around other people. It hurts to be around zombies who are so completely uh, clueless fucking morons. You know, shrug me off what I have to say. I love when people invite me out to... Normies invite me out to bars... 
You know, oh, come out here to this bar sometime. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, how does how do you think that sounds from the outside? Yeah, I'll just show up to this bar and hopefully run into you. And just stand around. I mean, there's this video this morning I shared with my roommate and my friend of this kid going door to door, knocking, asking for friends. Okay? I mean, I don't know the circumstance, what his neighborhood is like, you know, what... But still, like, let's act like it's 1995 and talk to each other. No. Why would you want to? Clueless ass brain dead normies. I'm doing this for dramatic effect. My other comrade, Gnostic, my European counterpart across the ocean. Yes. Okay. Can I be more any more descriptive? I don't know his name, but... He goes by the channel Do Not Watch. He's a Gnostic, anti-natalist, and I concur. And he uses a platform called StreamYard. StreamYard. Uh, they allow a free plan, but like to pay for it. It's like 20 bucks. And seeing as how cheap some people are, not pointing people out, you know if you come through, this content takes time. You know, you need places to go to as long as we have our Doom communities. Um, you know, ads don't pay shit. Anyways, it's like, you know, 20 bucks a month to do this stream yard. And what it enables you to do is have up to six guests on, or more, I think to 10 on a stream, a live stream, a community where people can get on and talk to each other. Okay. It's a platform. It's just one option. It's called stream yard. I'm thinking about doing it because why I'm hesitant to just live stream myself. I feel like I've beaten a dead horse. Maybe I've done it too much. I'm getting self-conscious. You know, if you would care to come on and talk with your fellow realists, this is group therapy for those that know the end is coming. That's the headline of this channel because this is our last decade. Come on, be real. I put up a poll. Let's go through the polls for a second. Covering my bases here. Um, you having a good time? Agree or disagree? It's always a two-thirds split. I'm killing time. You're having a good time. 38 votes. 58% uh, says disagree. We start going extinct around 2026. That's when I feel like El Nino has fully kicked in. We're at 1.5. The world is going haywire. And every tenth of a degree apparently equals a million more people displaced. Likely way more. Okay. It's a 50-50 split. Is it an overnight thing? November 26th, 2026? No. I said, is it going to start? Are we going to start losing habitat for billions of people? Yeah. Yeah. And you could argue that's already happening right now. So that's where those votes come from. Okay. We're wired to self-destruct as a species. Happy, being happy with less, that is the definition of positive mental health in comparison to what we're doing today. We highlight and praise all the wrong people. The very structure requires an infinite growth, which is by convincing everyone that they have. All have infinite wants. Taken from Revolution Now with Peter Joseph, who has an incredible radio voice, way better than me. I sound like a idiot. Everything. All these plastic things, infinite wants. You know, I was just at the grocery store and I see a man my age get into the car with his wife about my age, just her vaping away in the car, just not content with it, just really just bothered by something or another always. Neurotic. Addicts are neurotic. They have nothing better to do with their time but stress about pointless, useless shit and need an escape. Okay. It's been a rant today. It's been a good rant. Anyways, I could tell this couple was just, you know, just getting by. You know, everybody's just like paycheck to paycheck. A fourth of the people here are in poverty standard. People lined up at the plasma bank this morning, including me, to support this channel. I have to sell my meat sauce. Maybe I should go throw it on paintings because that will... That will grab, that will ensure we have control. Okay. So, records are broken. 
um, and continuously so, so we are we are experiencing temperatures apparently that we would experience in 2036 now because we are on RCP 8 point representative concentration pathway 8.5 that's fancy jargon for saying we are blowing past all the expectations that we set for ourselves and where we would thought we would be or going because all the models are out of date and incompliant with reality that things are actually unfolding much worse I, I respect the content that other creators put out as unimportant as they may seem. You know, they're trying to inform. Yeah, and toxic air that's blowing. I mean, how, what do we know the effects of all the toxic PFAS in our fucking water? You know? But nobody wants to work anymore. Why? Work with that? Like, that's another thing. It's like in work environments... Sorry, I'm going back. I'm going ADD, but... Oh, you know, it's all fucked up. And the climate's fucked up. You know, economics, politics, fucking AOC just endorsed Biden. You know, the guy who's sending cluster munitions to Ukraine so we can ensure that we cause as much devastation as possible and carbon emissions. And then open up more pipelines for drilling, but then say, you know, we want this net transition to zero by 2035 or whatever. Come on, guys. Get with the program. No one is in control. We've gone over this before. I hate Jimmy Doyle. I hate fucking Simon Clark. And we're all in this meat sauce bucket together. Just tell me I need to not worry so much. How about you, you know, you calm me down. Because, like, this isn't fucking fun, being around clueless morons all the time watching our future go down the toilet we are ensuring that we have no future we are ensuring that right now by all of our actions the wars you know arrogance let's build a new robot maker space on on youtube you know fucking rich boomers building robots like nauseating on oh, new new tom cruise movie but they built that new uh dope ball dome in vegas you know a big old ball that's lit up from the inside and outside and it looks like a basketball it has like a million billion leds on it just absurd insane stupid world and yeah my friend said it. it's like increase the global warming uh aliens ai all of it is like just taking off right now you know it's like we're we're tra we're dude we're going into a new world and yeah, I wanted to end on that, that I'm, that I'm human. Okay, we went climate, economy, you know, and I'm still a person. I'm still a human. Am I? Or am I a zombie like the rest? I just had to act stupid. I had to act, blend in like a CFM. And it's all the image in our head, I know. Like I was describing that couple, the girls smoke vaping in her car. They're probably like just barely getting by, you know, and like trying to raise their kid, trying to be a family bondage i know what all that entails expectations pressure control it's control game control how much pre control do i have over you and your life can monogamy work yeah sure you know but i just i have this guilty ever since i was a child i see a beautiful woman and my insides just cave in on me and i'm just like like the air gets sucked out of the room like what i can't be i will never have the funny it's just it's torture it's fucking torture a 10 and like a dog you know what do I, I don't know their problems you know i'm not i'm not judging it's just from the outside you know the grass is always greener if only i was a little bit taller if only i was a baller no i'm good i'm comfortable in my own skin that's what matters i am my own man for good all you people around the world make life worth it i gotta get going but i just wanted to vlog real quick the world's going to hell I'll talk to you soon, Doomers. See ya.